In this video I'll explain how to change the color, shape and size of only one point in a scatter plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that we have created a new data set which is called data. And if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see our data contains six rows and two columns which are called x1 and x2. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data in a scatter plot using the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can apply the plot function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So within the plot function I'm specifying our two columns in our data set that we want to draw. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom right of our studio that we have created a new scatter plot using the basic installation of the R programming language. However, you can also see that all of the points in our scatter plot have the same color, shape and size. So if we want to change the color, shape and size of only one of our points, we can apply the code that you can see in lines 7 to 10. So in these lines of code, I'm again using the plot function. However, this time I'm specifying the col, the pch and the cex arguments. And to these arguments, I'm applying the if else function. And within the if else function, I'm specifying that I want to change only one of our points. So in this case, I'm changing the third point in the third row of our data set. And then I need to specify the color, shape and size of this one point that I want to change. And I also need to specify the color, shape and size of the remaining points. So if you run lines 7 to 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our data is updated. And this time our point is shown as a square and it is shown in red and it is shown in a larger size. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the basic installation of the R programming language to change the color, shape and size of one point in a scatter plot. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package to change only one point. And if we want to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 13. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint. So if you run lines 15 and 16 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created another scatter plot, and this time our data is shown in this typical ggplot2 style that you might already know from previous videos. However, you can also see that at this point of the tutorial, the points all have the same color, shape and size. So let's assume that we want to change the third point of our data once again. Then we can specify the col, the shape and the size arguments within the geompoint function, as you can see in lines 18 to 21 of the code. And to these arguments, I'm again specifying the if else function. And within the if else function, I'm specifying that I want to change the third point. And I'm specifying the parameters that I want to use for this point. So if you run lines 18 to 21 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see, again, the third point in our scatter plot has been changed to a red square with a larger size. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to change the color, shape and size of only one point in a scatter plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.